Babies who are born early can spend the first few months of their lives in hospital. As part of their care, they unfortunately need to have lots of painful procedures. Minimising pain in early life is important for growth and brain development. Babies born more than eight weeks early need to have an eye exam every two weeks or more to check that their eyes are developing normally. This examination is very important as it can spot babies who need treatment to stop them from going blind. But these examinations are painful and can unsettle babies for up to 48 hours each time. Currently, doctors give anaesthetic eye drops and swaddle babies to comfort them. Other comfort techniques have been tried, but none reduce pain enough. Doctors and scientists at the University of Oxford are trying to find the best way to treat pain in babies. Morphine, made originally from poppies, is a drug that is very good at relieving pain in children and adults. And morphine is routinely given into the veins of premature babies to sedate and comfort them whilst they breathe with the help of a ventilator. In the poppy trial, doctors wanted to investigate whether giving morphine to non-ventilated babies before their routine blood test and eye exam could reduce their pain and make them more stable. They monitored babies for 24 hours to establish a baseline for each baby. They then used the baby's feeding tubes to blindly give some babies morphine and other babies placebo, a sugary solution, to compare the effects. One hour later, the babies had their routine blood tests and the team recorded their facial expression, brain activity and limb reflex to measure their pain. Then the babies had their routine eye exam and the team recorded their facial expression to measure their pain again. Over the next 24 hours, the team continued to monitor the baby's heart rate, breathing rate and oxygen saturations. The trial was stopped early after 30 babies as it was clear to the monitoring committee that morphine was having some important effects. 15 babies had been given morphine and 15 babies had been given placebo. Of the 15 babies given morphine, three developed long pauses in their breathing and needed help with their breathing. Five of the babies given morphine also needed a significant increase in the amount of oxygen they were getting. And eight of the babies given morphine also developed more long pauses in their breathing compared with only three babies in the placebo group. Overall, babies who received morphine had slower heart rates, slower breathing rates, more drops in their oxygen saturation and more pauses in their breathing over the next 24 hours. Despite these effects, there was no sign that morphine had reduced pain for these babies. Thanks to the poppy trial, we now know that giving oral morphine to non-ventilated premature babies for these eye exams can cause considerable side effects without any sign of pain relief. Morphine may work if given at higher doses into the veins of babies on a ventilator, but more research needs to be done to make sure that drugs like morphine are working in premature babies and to find out what doses should be given. More studies are now underway to find safe medicines that relieve pain for these tiny babies. We would like to thank the amazing parents and their babies who took part in this important research and thank the incredible team of scientists, doctors, nurses, statisticians, programmers, funders and parent representatives who made this work possible. <laughs>